Knicks. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit that notification bell. Where's the off season and what the New York Knicks is, what are the New York Knicks going to do? I'm here and talk about the New York Knicks is going to chase after Joe, Joe and B. I don't really think there's a chase. They're hoping that he's not happy and Philadelphia and one out. I don't really see that happening. Um, then there's the Carl Anthony Towns talk. Uh, Towns is too soft for New York. And him and Durand would not be a great fit. Teams will run over us down in the backcourt. Um, and then there's the talk about KP regretting leaving the New York Knicks and can he come back. I like that move. Actually, I really do like would like to see KP back on his team, but where would he fit and what would the New York Knicks do? To make that happen or make him fit but this this video is about showing up the second unit and the reason i'm going there with that i mean i know all of us at one point in time because you know when the playoffs come in and a player don't perform well we, we got to think twice about him and that's the man you quickly um this is coming up with a new york knicks got to make a decision and i'm hearing that the new york knicks might try to lowball him something like four years, $50 million. And I'm going to be honest right now, and I know in my past videos you heard me say this kid is going to be an all-star, and I still think he's projected. But I don't think he proved himself for a four-year, $50 million contract this year. I know he had his moments, and the Knicks don't necessarily have to get rid of him. This is not what this video is about. Keeping him on the bench would be good, or having him come. Because I think Emmanuel Quickly is a better off-guard than point guard. I don't think he, he he's a good decision maker. And this is why I'm talking right here. This is why I'm making this video right here. I think Peyton Pritchett is waiting to explode on the NBA. And I know it will have to be coming on the second unit. I think him and quickly, I know it's a little undersized, but I like I like Peyton's defense. And I like his tenacity and his aggressiveness. Aggressiveness. And he's been a 40 point, I mean, excuse me, a 40% career shooter from downtown. And I just like this kid, you know what I'm saying? I think he's waiting and he's hungry. He's not getting the minutes on Boston playing behind Brogdon and Smart. And that's the point guard. And even if you want to try to put him over to the shooting guard, then you got Brown, then you still got Brogdon, then you got Derek White. So I think Boston is going to be ready, you know, have to make a decision with this guy because he is asking to be traded. And that's the best part about this right here. He went out of Boston. I don't know if Boston is going to want to get rid of him depending on what they do with Marcus Smart or Brogdon or whoever they, the moves they make, uh, because this team is projected to be $27 million over the salary cap, and they're going to have to make some decisions. And the New York Knicks, in my opinion, I think they can swoop in and make a trade with Boston Celtics, and they don't have to give up a player. We can give up a couple of picks, you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing nothing with them right now, and I'm not, I'm not going to say that because, like I say, it's the offseason, and the New York Knicks is going to be making moves. Leon Rose is going to be out there willing and dealing and i know them picks is going to be involved but this is an option you know what i'm saying that i'm thinking about and i think that it will Im improve our team and if we were to bring kp in i can see a back court i mean excuse me a second unit that's right i said second unit because it all depends what they do with mitchell robinson i, I don't see mitchell robinson um chris back Porzingis, and randall on the court at the same time unless we get rid of randall there are speculations of that also so let me go back to my second unit on this, just in case we don't do nothing with our starting unit. That, that is Randall, um, Barrett, and Jalen Bronson, Mitchell Robinson, um, and Hart. Hopefully, and, and this leave us, and this move will leave us money to sign Hart because Peyton is only making four million dollars for it be next year, four million dollars. So he got two years left on his contract, of two million dollars, some change of piece. So this. This, this can be a prudent and this can be a good deal for a, a move for the New York Knicks because I like Peyton. I think he would come and give that bench the much di needed direction. Um, Tibbs don't seem to have faith in McBride. We don't know how next year going to be. And we know Tibbs don't like playing rookies. but and, th and that's the thing. Pritchard is not a rookie. He has some experience. I know he only played in 48 games this season. But that's because he was playing behind the players I just named, Brogdon, Smart. Um, white and brown. So, I think the Knicks should try to. I think the Knicks should just take a 
look this look into this because I think this would be a, a good move for our bench. We would have a real point guard on the bench coming on our bench. You know what I'm saying? We know Derrick Rose is gonna be gone. We're gonna have roster spaces that the Knicks the Knicks gonna have to make some improvement. And I know everybody wants them to go out there and get a start. And yes, I do too, but we got a star in the back hook. I'm thinking about Denver, man. Look how Denver's built. You know what I'm saying? They got one or two stars and um the Joker and my man Murray. And then everybody else is just collective players, which a couple of them guys is going to be free agents. And I think the New York Knicks should take a look at um Bruce Brown also. But um this move right here with the Boston Celtics and Peyton Pritchett, I think would be a smart move. And I think it will help the New York Knicks very much. What do y'all think? Hit me in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think and while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. And yes, leave a comment. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.